Today's video, DIY paper soap. This is soap made into thin sheets. DIY paper soap is easy to make and you can wash hands anywhere, reducing the risk of picking up germs. So it's like having your own favorite mini portable soap in your pocket. You'll love DIY paper soap because you can use your own gentle soap, not the sometimes harsh ones that you have to use in public places. This way you get to wash your hands with your favorite soap, keeping them happy, healthy, and without any problems. I'm using my favorite soap and I'm grating it into a bowl. You only need about a quarter of a cup of grated soap to make one whole sheet of this paper soap. And then you wanna take some warm water and just pour it into that grated soap. I've probably added about a tablespoon and you wanna keep mixing it, trying to get as much of the lumps out of it until it's a nice smooth consistency. And you can always add a little bit more water if you need to and keep mixing it. It does take a little bit of time. I probably stirred it for about two minutes. For my soap paper today, I am going to use tissue paper. You wanna use something very thin. I've seen people make it with regular paper and I don't like it. It's too thick, the soap doesn't soak in. So try to find some tissue paper or if you have some rice paper, that even works better. Now I'm just going to take a paintbrush and I'm just gonna really gently just brush on that soap mixture all across the tissue paper. You have to be really careful because it can tear really easy. There's so many different places that you can use this paper soap, but some of my favorites are at school while you're camping, in your diaper bag, in your purse, and while you're traveling. Once we have it all spread across that whole piece of tissue paper, I like to go in with a little sponge and just very carefully sponge across that tissue paper, making sure that it's evenly distributed. Now we just have to be patient, set it aside, and let it dry. It'll probably take a couple hours. This has been a couple hours, and now we're ready to peel it off of this baking sheet. That's what I put the tissue paper on in the beginning so we could peel it off easy and it wouldn't stick to the surface. Be really gentle, really careful, and pull it away slowly, and you're gonna have a full sheet of paper soap. Now you wanna cut it into squares. I find doing about two by two inches is the perfect amount to give you a nice lather when you're washing your hands. Now that these are done, you can store them in maybe small containers or a little reusable zip bag. I love using my beeswax wraps. I made one into a little envelope and I tuck this away in my purse so they're perfect to grab anytime. So grab some of your favorite soap, some tissue paper, and give this DIY a try. So you just have a tiny little bit of tissue paper left over when you've finished washing your hands, throw it in the garbage, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.